Show Me Center talking with Southeast Missouri head women's basketball coach Ty Margenthaler and coach big game tomorrow host coming back home against Western Illinois is to talk a little bit about the last couple of days in preparation for this game. You know it's been a really important you know coming off a very tough uh, loss at Southern Illinois and, uh, and the way the game kind of ended um, was just emotional draining as well and so uh, you know we had a you know a few hours just to kind of talk about that game and, and watch a little bit about that close the chapter and then uh, move on because we have a really good Western Illinois basketball team coming in and, and playing us on Saturday afternoon so um, all our focus right now is that one no mentality and it's playing Western Illinois and, and we're ready it's uh, it's been yesterday we had a really good workout um, we're focused uh, we're to the scout. We just finished practice this afternoon. I'm really proud of the way the players competed and their energy level is very, very high. And they really need to get back on the court. They want to get back on the court. They want to compete at a high level. And we're going to get that opportunity tomorrow afternoon. On a more personal note, some Red Hawks fans may not know that you spent a great deal of your formative years growing up in Macomb, Illinois. Your dad, Jack, a Hall of Famer over at Western Illinois and coaching their men's basketball team. Let's talk about, you know, what a game like this means to you from a personal standpoint. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it is. It's, it's really important. It's, uh, you know, Macomb, we've got a lot of fond memories. Uh, Macomb has been great to our family, and, uh, you know, that's where I went to grade school and high school and, and had a, a lot of success and, and, and have a lot of family and friends there. And uh, so it's, uh, it's a game where, you know, you, when you see that purple and gold, it definitely brings back some great memories. And I know it does also for my brother. My brother played there at Western Illinois under my father, and, of course, my father uh, coaching there. So, um, you know, Macomb has been nothing but great to us. And, uh, you know, I mentioned my dad's a Hall of Famer there, which is off the need. So we're looking forward to playing this year. I'm really looking forward to going back to Western next year and get a chance to, to play in a, a gym that I played a lot of ball games in. Now, your dad is going to be in attendance at this game. Uh, we'll talk about being a big coaching family in basketball. What uh, your father and your brother uh, meant to you as far as growing up as a coach? Well, you know, it's just, this is what we know and this is what we do as a family. You know, we, uh, we travel, we go to games, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, we're talking X and O's and uh, getting a little family time in there as well, but it is nice to have a family background and it's nice to know that uh, good or bad, I can always pick up the phone and call a brother that's in the business right now at Minnesota State on the men's side and, and of course my father retired uh, living the great life down in Naples, Florida. Um, if I can catch him off a golf course, we can definitely talk some golf, or I'm sorry, some basketball as well, but uh, it's, it's nice, it's, uh, it really helps because uh, you need that, and I have a great um, network right there and family members that, that live what I live, and uh, anytime you can have that, it's, uh, it's definitely a positive. Now, talk a little bit about uh, the scheduling standpoint to your first year of being able to completely schedule yourself. I know you have assistant coach Ben Coombs uh, do most of the scheduling. Was there a little bit of an override from the from the boss to get this one on as quickly as possible? Yeah, you know, I think it's a win-win. You know, we're uh, you know they're in a summit league, of course, we're in Ohio Valley, uh, very comparable leagues. Um, you know, distance-wise, it's a it's a very good distance. And again, then just knowing that uh, you know JD took over that program, we're in the same similar position. We're both rebuilding. Um, he's doing a phenomenal job there, and uh, you know, so I just think it's a it's really good for their fan base. I know they do a lot of recruiting. And St. Louis, and, and again, it's, it's really good for us, too, just to kind of continue that area as well. So, um, you know, and definitely that was one of the schools right away that we definitely called. Focusing in on this game tomorrow, uh, what are some of the things that your team is going to need to do to get the result that you're for? You know, we, we, we need great energy on the defensive end. This uh, Western Illinois basketball team, they shoot the ball really well. They run great motion offense. They, uh, they drive it. Um, they, you know, from the weak side, they, uh, they really do a great job flash cutting. So we're going to have to be really active in a stance for the whole shot clock and rebound the basketball. And, and quite honestly, like any really good basketball team that really truly wants to win Division One basketball games, you have to take care of the basketball. And that's something that we talk about every single day. And the times that we do, we're really, really successful. And the times we don't, uh, we, we put ourselves a little bit up behind the eight ball. So, uh, but again, I'm excited about it because it's a challenge. It's, uh, it's great to get back home. We're playing well at home. And uh, I know our fans are going to come out and support us. It's a doubleheader, and so it's going to be a lot of fun as well. All right, good luck tomorrow, Coach. All right, thanks, Chad.